Another vlog. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. It's your new favorite YouTuber, and if you've already been here, then it's just your favorite YouTuber. I don't know if I said this, but I am Shelly, and I'm so happy to have you here. We are kickstarting a new vlog. It's been a little minute since I picked up the vlog camera. Today I was like, I am finally just pulling myself out of this rut. I don't even know what this is that I've just been. In, but I've been in somewhat of a rut if I'm being honest just today I was like okay I'm gonna get up go to the gym get out of the house look at the beautiful trees it's not that I haven't been getting out of the house it's that I've been having a lot going on like I've been working all week and then I also was dealing with a leak at the house we had a plumber come out no major damage was done thankfully but that was a bit of a I don't know it was annoying <laughs> so anyway I haven't picked up the vlog camera because I just knew I was gonna be like working and stuff and just the same old same old but I'm like today I'm pulling myself out of this rut and I know you guys love like videos like this where you get to see me like getting maintenance and stuff done and just really like pulling myself together I know you guys enjoy that if you're like me and you use videos like this to take inspiration from here we go it's like 1 30 or going on 1 30 right now and I'm on my way to my nail appointment I'm running a little bit behind because I thought that it was a smart idea to get in the shower and wash my hair and stuff I needed my hair needed to be washed it's it needed to be washed it was flat and it's really good to wash your hair once a week or at least once every two weeks um, if you have weave and stuff in it because you want to make sure that you're just adding moisture back into your hair so I went ahead and washed my hair today I blow dried it out I didn't really do much to it like I didn't style it really because I want to let the inside fully air dry it doesn't get like all the way wet like underneath my braids and stuff but I like to do a, a slight blow dry but not too much heat and then I let the rest sort of air dry otherwise my hair will be super frizzy and then I'll keep having to try to get it back flat and I just don't want to do that so I'm letting it air dry the rest of the way and uh, yeah I was gonna vlog that but I was like I've done that already on my channel and it's not really that interesting and I'm actually gonna text my beautician later on today and schedule a hair appointment because it's time for me to go and get my hair done it's just grabbing looking kind of I look kind of rough <laughs> it's been a minute since I went and got my hair done so I'm like it's time so I'm gonna do that later but I need to get my nails done my nails are grown out I don't know if you guys can even see it but they're grown out and it's time to get this taken care of I don't know what I'm getting I have no inspo the only thing that I'm sort of into is like that deep red but I'm like do I want to go and get like full like I don't know if I want to go and get like deep red a 
full nail of deep red or do I want just like a design? I don't really know. So we're gonna see once I get there, I'm gonna see if my nail tech has any ideas of things that she wants to try out. So we'll figure it out once we get there. But I just wanted to start off the vlog and say hi, what's up? We went to the gym today. I'm proud, I'm happy. I've actually been going to yoga. That's been helping just with like my mental health and stuff and like really stretching out my body and I feel really good doing that. So I've been enjoying going to yoga. It's like a yoga stretch class that is offered um, in my community. I'm super chatty because I feel like I haven't talked to y'all in a minute, but I have a few house updates that I want to show you guys once we get to the house. So yeah, we're going to get into all of that. I kind of want to make chili and cornbread tonight. I've been saying I want to make it for days and days and I just never do. So tonight I might just make the cornbread and chili. This might be a weekly is this gonna be a weekly vlog? I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna see you guys once we get to the nail shop and figure out what we're gonna get done. And ooh, there's a Starbucks right next door, so I might stop there and get a coffee because I didn't make a coffee today. Okay, my hair is really starting to poof up, but it's okay. My beautician texted me and said that I can come and get my hair done on Tuesday. So I will be taking my hair done on Tuesday. So this is what we're gonna be looking like until then. But I wanted to show you guys my nails. So I said that I was indecisive and when I walked in, I was like, I kinda want something fun. Like I want like a little cute little pick me up. So I got my nails like this. I got a mummy some ghost spider webs and y'all know I'm capping because I definitely do not like spiders nor their webs and then I got bats over here double spider web there and then a little ghost over there so for the nails that I didn't get anything on I just got the French tip so I got a French tip right there I got the double French tip on the thumbs because I just wanted something fun and then I got a French tip there I really want a pumpkin cream chai it's been like over a week i think since i've had one so we're gonna go and treat ourselves to a pumpkin cream chai from starbucks if you haven't tried it already you need to because it is fire and then i'm gonna stop and pick leah up because i'm not too far from her dad's house so i'm gonna pick her up and then we're gonna run to the store get the ingredients for oh these bushes are bright red and they are gorgeous but we're gonna get the ingredients for the cornbread and chili and then we're gonna make that. I'm gonna give you guys the home updates later on, either later on today or tomorrow. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday. I know by the time you guys see this, it won't be Sunday anymore, but I hope you had a wonderful Sunday. Also, I need to go home and finish up my laundry. I have one more load to do when I have to fold my laundry that's currently in the dryer. I've just been such a homebody this last week. It's not that I've been sad. That's the reason why earlier today when I was like, oh, I've been in a rut. It's not that I've been sad. It's just that I have not been wanting to do anything or go anywhere. Hello. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. My name's Ben, what's your name? Hi, can I get the pumpkin cream chai? What size? Can I get oat milk instead? Oat milk instead? Yes. Anything else? No, that's all. all right, that'll be $7 at the window. Okay. $7, No big deal. Money flows to me in abundance. Not for no seven dollar Starbucks drink. Let me see how much money do I have. I feel like if you love me, you need to let me add 
your card onto my Starbucks reload thing so I can keep reloading off of your card. All right, let me call Leah, tell her I'm on my way. Leah's dad must want to ride out to my house today because why is no one answering the phone so I could pick her up? Mm. Oh, it's just worth it. It's just worth it, y'all. If you don't know my fall Starbucks order, even though I've said it in so many other vlogs, I'm gonna run it back one more time. I get an iced grande pumpkin cream chai with oat milk. It is so yummy. <laughs> okay look let them see your okay all right all right hello hello you smell the other dog on me <laughs> you guys uh, Malaya's dad just recently got a new dog and I was playing with him when I stopped over there Malaya wasn't there but her bag was there she's gonna get dropped off later on today so I stopped over at her dad's house to pick up her bag and he got a new dog so I was playing with the dog and I'm sure Milo smells him on me. And it's so funny because he was jumping all over me and I'm sure he smelled Milo. <laughs> so you smell another dog on mom? you like, what is this? Here, come on. Here, look at this sweater. <laughs> Let me get something from my lips. It is almost five o'clock. It's 4.55, so basically five o'clock. So we're gonna get ready and cook dinner or cook the soup or the chili what is it that i'm trying to say here we are gonna get ready and cook or i'm gonna get ready and make the chili and cornbread but i want to give you guys the few house updates that i promised to give i said that i would do it tomorrow but i think today makes more sense i'm gonna change out my battery really quick and then i'm gonna show you guys the few little house updates that we have here then we're gonna get started with making the soup i'll link the recipe down below for anyone interested because i'm probably not gonna do like a full talk through just show you guys me making it i feel like it's better when you do the montage clips as opposed to trying to do a full talk through when you can just link the recipe you know let me give you guys the house updates i'm hot <laughs> all right so here we go we got the beautiful living room honestly i'm so in love with it like i'm obsessed with how the living room is looking this lamp was already in my living room before it was at the living room or in the living room at the last my last apartment i had it downstairs in the family room this is probably the space that's taken me the longest to get together but i love the way that this all looks my little boy loves this little ottoman i got this from at home i'll try to link it down below because i think they have it available i think honestly i think i may have linked it in my shop my home links so i'll have that link down below but i actually got two of them so the other one's over here and then i just have a throw blanket on it but yeah so here is what the living room on this side is looking like i got this pillow from target it's a deep chocolate brown velvet pillow i really love like the added brown or deeper tones that i'm adding into the living room because i feel like it just adds contrast and more warmth and it just makes the space feel more welcoming as opposed to the all white like stale look i don't know but then i bought this plant over there that's also from at home and i have another one you guys know i have the banana leaf plant that's over there in the dining room but this one this one has more leaves and it's actually smaller so i have it standing on like a step stool behind the couch but no one would ever know so that is what that's looking like everything else is pretty much the same and then over here i found this console at um home goods i found it like mm, maybe a little over a week ago maybe two weeks ago from today the moment that i saw it i was like i need this <laughs> 
And you guys know I've been looking for a media console for the longest time. The moment that I saw it, I grabbed it and knew that I had to bring it home. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably already saw it uh, the day. That's why you guys should follow me on Instagram because I do live like real time updates and content and stuff over there. But I posted it and so many of you guys were DMing me and it's the perfect piece. I just love the height of it. I wish that it was a little bit wider, but then again, I feel like that gives me, you know, some space to add little something onto or into these two sides or onto these two sides of the TV. I have an idea for what I want to do, but I'm not going <laughs> to I'm not going to say it until I do it. So, yeah, but anyway, um I just have this little piece on the TV. It's from YouTube. You guys, if you've been following me for a long time, you already know I've I always put pieces on or I don't even know, do you call it pieces? I was saying pieces cuz like artwork, but basically all I do is search on YouTube depending on what the season is or what Whatever, I'll search like autumn morning jazz or whatever or jazz ambiance or autumn ambiance jazz music whatever and it plays jazz music and then it keeps this on the screen and they have so many of them that are like 24 hours I feel like it's super cool if you're someone who wants the frame TV but you never wanted to purchase it which I think it's a waste of money but whatever that's just me so you can do this just put it on your screen use YouTube and there you go but yeah, so I just added a little bit of decor. This isn't gonna stay like this. I'm just still trying to decide what it is that I'm gonna do. And I know you guys probably see those like patches behind the TV. It's because originally I had a floating shelf behind or underneath the TV. I meant like behind the media console, but underneath the TV, I had a floating shelf and I really, really loved that look. It was the floating shelf and it had the two ottomans underneath i'll insert a picture so you guys can see what it looked like but the only reason why i did not keep it like that is because honestly i really should have had someone install it for me where they like put it into the the studs so i don't have a stud finder so i kind of just put it up because i was trying to see what it would look like and then i was going to have my uncle come over and basically i ended up hanging up like three floating shelves and i was trying to make them look like one shelf but when I hung them up, it was slanted because I didn't have a stud finder to put the screws in the studs. So it was like leaning. It didn't really look right to me, like up close from afar. It looked super dope. Like it was really nice. And I'm still like, dang, should I have left it like that? You know, but it's fine. I really like this console, but the floating shelf with like the ottomans underneath is such a look. So if anyone of you guys have been trying to find something to do with uh, the space underneath your TV, it's a really good idea. Uh, like I said, I'll insert the picture so you guys can see what it looks like. But yeah, so that's what I had it looking like before. And then my uncle came over and we like covered up the, the holes. And then he was supposed to come back and bring me sanding paper, the paper to like sand it so that I, we could like paint back over it. But he never came back. So this is what I'm left with until he decides to show up again which I could do it but like I'm leaving it like that until he <laughs> decides to come back over and fix that so yeah anyway um I ended up finding this little decor piece bowl or whatever from at home it's super nice and I love that it's like this chocolate brown color which is funny because I got this when I had the floating shelf idea and it just so happened to look right with this dark wood console and then i got this pumpkin also from at home it smells like this pumpkin candle it smells like pumpkin and it's just very subtle honestly it doesn't it doesn't smell up the room but we ball and then i just had these books books here books here that i've already had i had these stems from uh michael's if you guys don't know go to michael's if you want stems like decor stems michael's has so many of them and they're always on sale Got that from that there and then this lamp is not gonna stay here i actually am thinking of another idea for a lamp but this one isn't gonna stay here it just adds more light into the space because the living room is pretty big and that lamp over there does not light up the full living room so i just like having one over here and then i got this little plant fake plant from at home as well and so yeah this is what we're working with over here and i really like it once we get decor for the two sides it's gonna look so much better and i'll update you guys as we go but this over here i think we're pretty much done for the time being it looks really nice and cozy and leah and i love hanging out like watching movies and tv shows and stuff in here so it's pretty dope also you guys little update on my plants hello like these babies are growing okay they're flourishing this one i'm gonna have to do something with like repotting it because i feel like the leaves are just all over the place so we'll 
we'll figure that out. I think I might cut off one of the nodes on it and then repot it into another one so I can have another Monstera. I'm gonna have Monsteras all over my house. I just love them, they're my favorite plants. But look at this fiddle leaf fig thriving. And then here's another one. Just this one over here is the one that I had before that I was telling you guys about that has been growing like crazy since we moved over here. So little plant update. <laughs> the other home update that I wanted to give you guys is my office. I got a clothing rack and I got clothes and stuff up there. I'm waiting on a few more pieces to come in because I want to do a autumn haul, like fall winter haul for you guys and just show you guys how I would style outfits or just like a few outfits. And I think you guys would really enjoy that. So stay tuned for that. I'm waiting for a couple more things to come in from Zara and it's gonna be affordable because I'm all about affordable clothing. I'm waiting on a couple more pieces to come in and then we will do a full like haul where I show you guys how I style pieces. And I think you guys would really enjoy that. Um, I've really been enjoying like fall outfit idea videos too so like i said stay tuned for that but we're gonna go ahead and make the chili because leah should be home maybe around like 7 7 30 i'm thinking so at least it'll be done by the time she gets here i'm gonna light this candle here speaking of this candle i have not been back to anthropology i feel so bad so i'm thinking that i should just go online and order the candle i don't know why i didn't think about that before but i need to send it to the giveaway winner that I was supposed to send it to. But I'm gonna light this candle as well. This one is my favorite one, the Santal and Ginger from Target. If you haven't gotten it already, go pick it up. It smells so good. I have it downstairs in the family room. I never have to light it down there because I have the big one down there, so it just fills up the room. Like, you don't have to light it at all. It just makes the whole downstairs smell so good. Milo, do you want one of your... Do you want one of these? You want one of your treats? You do? You guys, are you kidding me? Look at him. Can you sit? You can. Okay, wait, buddy. Sit. That's a good boy. Stay. That's a good boy. Good boy, baby. Here you go. Here you go. I had to come upstairs anyway because I had to get my tripod so that I could film some more far back clips and so i'm like i might as well show y'all bring y'all upstairs with me so i could show y'all my clothing rack so here it is and i have some shoes down here that i'm also going to include in my little outfit video like i told you guys before i have a few things that i'm waiting on coming in to come in but i wanted to show you guys this waffle set that i got from one of my seashells it's from her brand i think it's pronounced i don't want to butcher it but i think it's naker knacker i'm not sure i think it's it may be knacker or naker but it has the brand right here on the waffle long sleeve and she also sent me the shorts which love they're also that like waffle material and then it has the name right here very very cute i might put this on tomorrow i was thinking about it because she also sent me the socks she sent me these socks which they also have her brand name on them and then this tote bag which if you've been following me for a while you know how much i love green like especially in the fall time green is one of my favorite colors this color green especially like it's one of my favorites and it's just so cute i love these little tote bags especially like for just to throw on when you have somewhere to go and you want to pack all your stuff with you water bottle ipad even my laptop like it's so cute i love it i'm gonna have it all linked down below so you guys can shop because it's my kind of vibe so i just wanted to tell you guys about it which if you're watching this thank you so much girl i appreciate you but um yeah so that's pretty much the update on the office i just got this clothing rack i'm gonna have it linked in my amazon storefront for anyone interested my office is pretty much like starting to get a little full we got some pr boxes over here that i have to go through i have these two bins that i'm going to organize like i have a few of these bins in my closet over here but i need to organize this so um yeah stay tuned for that because i might just do a whole video on that because i know a lot of you guys were like how do you organize your makeup it is not organized 
at all. So we're going to try to come up with some sort of system because I need to create a bin for a giveaway and a bin that I'm going to let like my friends and family look into, you know, go through or whatever. Just a bin for like makeup that I want to try and products and stuff that I want to try. So yeah, like I said, stay tuned for that. But you guys have already seen this. I feel like I never really show my office because honestly, I just spend time in here to work. But I'm like, I don't want it to get super crowded in here because I really do need a clear space for me to work <laughs> efficiently. So yeah, it's pretty much still the same as it was before when you guys first saw it, but I need to get this situated. No, I was about to say good morning good afternoon you guys welcome to another day in the vlog I did a little montage this morning because I like kind of got the house in order and did everything that I didn't end up doing yesterday but I wanted to bring the vlog into today I don't really have anything going on today I don't work or anything but I wanted to bring you guys with me into today so welcome back <laughs> to another day I'm about to get ready and go to this coffee shop that's not too far from my house I want to get this latte that I had they have one that's called the campfire and it is oh my god it's so good I had it the other day I don't really have anything going on for today but I really just wanted to get up and get ready and pull myself together I am pulling myself together every day to make myself feel better so that's what we did today and I put on this shirt uh actually the set from the brand that i showed you guys yesterday it i want to say it's pronounced i don't know if it's naker or knacker but i love the set it's the waffle set i told you guys before i think i have this in an xl which they're like an oversized fit which i really like because it's really comfy and cozy and perfect for fall but i think i want to put on i think I'm, I'm gonna carry this bag i almost forgot about my little half moon bag from Gucci but I think I'm gonna carry this bag and I think to dress it up a little bit I'm gonna put on these boots actually I want to try it on really quick hold on I'm kind of into it the temperature is like 65 or something today so we have pretty decent weather the sunglasses I feel like are a little bit too much because they're like huge on my face so I might not wear these but I'll keep them with me just in case anyway here's the look we're gonna go to the coffee shop and yeah all right 
Y'all, so when I say I live in the suburb suburbs, like me showing up to places dressed up like this, I always get stares. And it's not that I think that anyone is thinking anything crazy or if anyone's like looking at me like, why is she dressed up like that? But it's more so like, you don't really see people dressed up like that or dressed up. Not that I'm even really, really dressed up, but you just really don't see people dressed up like that out here. And I'm just like, I wish that I lived somewhere where people cared more about their appearance But I also live, I don't know. I just really live the suburban life. And I really wish that people cared more about getting dressed up so that I wouldn't be the one that's getting all the stares for dressing up. Cause I'm not gonna stop dressing up to make people feel comfortable. I'm just not gonna do it. Like if I wanna show up with my heels on just to go to the coffee shop, that's just what I'm gonna do. So I need everybody else to kind of catch up out here but the suburb is just really slow living like in the city is different in the city people get dressed up but like out here it's like sneakers and t-shirt and yoga pants every day all the time and i'm kind of tired of it because i feel like i can't draw inspiration from anywhere except online because no one gets dressed and that's fine like that's this is what they do this is you know their way of life but i feel like I would just love to see more day-to-day -day, like dressed up even if it there were like work outfits work outfits not like work outfits but like corporate baddie looks love those looks would love to see it but nope you don't get that out here in the suburb <laughs> you get farms cows in yoga pants and, and sneakers and t-shirts every day so Anyway, um, yeah, rant over. Speaking of horses, can y'all see them? I don't even, oh, I can't even turn this. I want y'all to see them. It's a jet black horse over there. Beautiful. Speaking of horses, I have to sign Leia back up for her horseback riding lessons. Today is cheer tryouts. Leia's trying out for the cheer team today. I'm so excited and nervous for her. I feel like she's gonna be chosen to be on the team, but I'm still just, I just feel a little bit nervous just because I know she's nervous. And then I also have, I don't think you guys can see it, but I have the shelf, the like floating shelf that I had in my living room that I was testing out. I have that in my back seat, so I'm gonna take that back to at home. It's actually three different shelves and I tried to hang them as one. It just wasn't giving. I wish that it was because it's actually a look, but I feel like I need one of those like thick pieces of wood bolted to the wall, then it would look so much better, but it's fine. We got the console. It gives what I needed to give, so I'm not too concerned about it, but I just, that floating shelf idea was actually such a vibe. And I'm done talking about it now because I feel like I talked about it like three times in this vlog. <gasps> the coffee shop is closed. It's not even, y'all, I think the coffee shop is closed. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get the latte that I wanted to get. And I passed it, doing all this talking. All right, let me go. Okay, that was a fail. The coffee shop is closed. They closed at noon. So I'm gonna go to Ruth Chris happy hour. Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna go to happy hour at Ruth Chris. And, cause I don't have to get Leia until seven o'clock. So I need to find something to do with my time. Leah is back from tryouts and as y'all can hear she's currently practicing so 
This is her every two seconds. I'm trying to watch girlfriends and this is what she said. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. So hard. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was decent, but it could be better. Ready? Five. Six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need to stop looking. Yeah. Straight. It's yeah. Down. And you like leaning yourself. Yeah. You got this. So ready? Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's because you're like afraid of falling. Because when you go. Your legs are out. Just land back. I'm supposed to go like this. Yeah, no, I'm saying your legs are out. And when you land, your feet back down. Just try to land flat. Focus on landing your feet flat. Let's see if you can do it. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just a little more practice, though. That's all. Practice makes progress. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. Three, four, hit, five, six, hit. seven, eight. Good job. Practice makes progress. You got this. Don't think too much into it. Okay? Good job. <laughs> what was that? That was good. <laughs> My girl is like that. Bye. Bye. Hey. Hey. Look at his hair, you guys. We have to get your hair cut. It's time. Look at your hair. This is mom's. This is mom's. Can I have that? Give, give, give me hair. Look, you guys. Remember? Everyone who was like, oh, Milo's so sweet. I can't imagine him being crazy. You just saw it. You just saw it. They saw you. You're on camera. <laughs> You're on camera. We caught you. <laughs> Look at that face. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's the cutest little face. Oh, okay. Mom is sorry for exposing your your badness. <laughs> we are back home. We went to happy hour at Ruth Chris. We got a bunch of appetizers. I am such an appetizers girl now, like especially because I don't eat meat. So I just want to try a bunch of different appetizers and Ruth Chris just has really good appetizers. I had the artichoke dip. We had the crab mushroom stuffed mushrooms it was like stuff with crab meat or something like that what else we had the shrimp it was just yummy everything was good i had an aperol spritz while i was there and then i came home and had a vizzy i told you guys about the vizzies before if you like high noon you will like this so much more like these taste so much better than high noons so yeah get the busy i came home to some goodies from ysl beauty like are you kidding me this is the mascara that i told you guys about if you are someone who doesn't wear false lashes or even if you do and you just want like a really good mascara this one right here they send me another one i'm like stop playing because the one that i have like i've been using it every single day and then i also have a lot of you guys were talking about the fenty one the fenty one is also bomb so this one and the fenty one bomb and then they also sent me the oil and stick um lip shine ready to care and shine lip color they sent me two this one is in the shade i want to try these on actually this one's 162 it's pulsing rose hip and i want to try this on because like that color you see it gorgeous 
So let's see. This is a pretty pink, a very pretty pink. And I love pink lip colors or lip shades. Love pink lip shades. So that one will definitely be in the rotation. And then they also sent me this one, which I was most excited about. I feel like it's perfect for fall. So pretty. And this one is in the shade 44. It's in the shade nude 44. And I just wanna put it on top. These are actually really moisturizing. They feel like a lip balm. Not really like a lip gloss, but like a balm. Really it's moisturizing. Balm. Oh, it is? Mm -hmm. Is that what it says? It says it on here. Lip balm, lipstick balm. Oh, love it. Okay, yeah, so it is. It's like a balm, but it's pretty. I like it. I cannot wait to go get my hair done tomorrow. Y'all don't even know the way I've been looking the last few weeks. Ain't nobody gonna be able to tell me nothing. Like. Can I take you out? It depends. You wanna meet me for dinner? It depends. Like that's what type of time I'm on when I go get my hair done. It depends, I don't know. Where we going? Where we going? Perry's? Cause if we go to Perry's then okay. I've been trying to decide like if I'm gonna do a side part or a middle part. I think I'm gonna go with the middle part again because it's just much easier for me. Like if I have a side part, I would have been had to go back to my beautician and get my hair done because I feel like with the side part, I'm constantly like leaning my head over, keeping my hair out of my face. I feel like it's more maintenance, maintaining the side part. I don't know why, but maybe because you have to like, I don't know, you have to maintain that. I, I don't know, but I feel like in the middle, it's just more convenient for me for every day. And I also like when my hair starts to get old that I can just put those little like headbands on and wear my hair like that. And yeah, so I might just go back with a middle part. Low key, I really wanted a bob, but I think I'll wait um, until the spring for the bob. And I was also thinking about getting a color, but I might wait until my birthday for the color. So we might just stick to what we've been doing. Just get our hair done the same way. I don't know, it depends. Cause once I get there, I'm like, you know what? Yeah, let's go, let's go crazy. But then, ooh, let me show you guys this lamp that I got from Target. Cause I'm gonna link it down below for you guys. And I wanna show you really quick. Wow, that lip color is so pretty. But I wanna show you guys the downstairs area really quick. Not many changes at all. And everywhere mom goes, you have to come with her, right? Cause you love mom so much, you have to come with her everywhere, right? See, I love mommy too much. I have to go everywhere mommy goes. Let's get your hair out of your face. See, I have to go everywhere mommy goes. Everywhere, everywhere mommy goes, I go. Also, you guys, look at my plant. This is the newest Monstera that I got. Look at how much it's growing. <laughs> it's so crazy. Um, but anyway, okay, so really quick, here's the lamp that I got from Target. If you guys have been on the hunt for a lamp, I promise you, like, they have lamps like this, or um, I think Crate and Barrel carries lamps like this, and I want to say Pottery Barn also. Super expensive, and this one was only 70 bucks. Like, almost feels like ceramic base a linen lampshade and i'm really into these lampshades right now <laughs> like this uh shape of lampshade right now so i just thought it was perfect for right here i put some magazines there because i need a new side table and i don't have one so i was like whatever i'm just gonna use the side table that i already had put some magazines there to give it a little more height and that's what we're left with for now changes are going to be made down here i just <laughs> don't really know what i'm doing but um yeah, so it's still really cozy down here. I put the plant that was upstairs, I put that over here. And then I just kind of switch out the pillows depending on how I'm feeling. Honestly, I just wanna make this area or just keep this area nice and cozy. For Christmas, we are gonna have a Christmas tree down here, which is probably gonna go there. So, or maybe there, I don't know. But um, as of right now, we're just gonna I'm just gonna leave this right here. I feel like I'm just, this is where I just put all the furniture that I can't figure out where I want it to go. Um, the lanterns, I might move out to the porch. We're still thinking of doing a electric fireplace right here. So these shelves I might get rid of. Depends, I just, I don't really know. I'm like, you know what, little by little. That is the update on that, you guys. Wow, it's dark. Let me look in the mirror. Oh, I always forget that this mirror I always forget that this mirror is tinted and I'm like, let me look in the mirror. But then 
you can't really see anything milo is really my son like he's obsessed with me he look he won't let me live you won't let mom live why is that why won't you let mom live my uncle was just here and he he like loves my uncle i kind of got a little break when my uncle was here but then as soon as my uncle left he's like back attached at my hip okay all right all right all right let's go upstairs about to get ready and shower and head to bed take my makeup off and stuff y'all know how it is when y'all do your makeup real good and you just don't want to wash it off like i feel like my face looks so good and i don't want to wash it off <laughs> but it's okay because i did a whole tiktok on this look so i know exactly what products and stuff i use hold on someone's face calling me. facetime calling me yeah but i'm about to wash my face i'm about to wash this makeup off and i will see you guys in the morning when we start getting ready for my hair appointment so good night and don't forget to say your prayers is a vibe this morning we got the candles burning and i told you guys about how i go on youtube and pull up these little nice images that play music so i have that going it's nice and bright in here and it's just such such a vibe this morning and i'm so here for it let me turn this music down i got up this morning made breakfast I made myself a cup of coffee i made some breakfast and now i'm gonna start getting ready well actually no i'm not gonna start getting ready for my hair appointment now because my beautician asked if i can come at 2 30. so i'm probably not gonna leave my house until like one in case there's traffic but i also have to stop and get gas it's so irritating like the amount of brands that send emails and want to do collaborations for product exchange like i've talked about this so many times and evidently they don't watch my content or pay attention to my content because reaching out to a creator and asking to do a collaboration in exchange for product is such an insult like i don't care what anyone says it is an insult creating content is work like i don't care what anyone says contrary to popular belief being a content creator is work and for a brand to reach out and want to collaborate but want you to do the collaboration in exchange for product that's i don't know it's just such an insult to me i just feel like you want me to put in this work promote your product that could potentially go viral or <laughs> hit myself in the mouth because i'm talking you want me to put in the work to promote your product it could potentially go viral bring you in a shit ton of sales and all i made off of it was your product i can't pay my bills with that i can't do anything with that i'm gonna have to sell your product to be able to make any type of money off of it like it's i don't know it's just it's such an insult and i really wish that brands would stop doing that and i get so many emails 
from brands like requesting a collaboration in exchange for products and i understand if your budget does not allow you room to be able to pay creators to get your product pushed but you need to figure something else out you need to switch up your strategy until you have the means to be able to pay the creators for working with you like stop reaching out to creators asking them for promotion in exchange for product because that's it's just it's wrong like i feel like if i owned a company i would utilize the promotion tab on instagram on facebook on threads on any where or whatever i don't even know if threads has promotion tabs but like i would use it on every single platform i would create shorts i would create tiktoks like i would do all of that to push my product I'm not gonna send my products or ask that people promote my products or ask that creators promote my products in exchange for me sending them my product. If you send me something and I decide to tell people about it, then that's just my decision to do so. But to be like, yeah, I'm gonna send you this product in exchange for you posting about it on your platforms, like no. And then some of the brands that do that, I don't even, the products are usually, not even necessary. <laughs> Listen, I don't know. I don't know what, well, I know what made me want to rant about this, but I feel like there are just things that creators don't talk about. And my platform is just an open platform. We're gonna talk about the real shit over here. And that is one of the things that I cannot stand. It's like, stop doing that. Like, if you're gonna reach out to me because you wanna work with me, you wanna collaborate with me, on something treat me the same way that you would treat a larger creator you wouldn't reach out to any of these larger creators and say or you wouldn't expect a larger creator to promote your products in exchange for your product you would pay them so pay me too keep the same energy with me too bottom line like no if you genuinely like a product like if you genuinely like a product and you use that product and they send you PR or whatever, like with PR, you're not required to post anything about it. But if I like a product, I'm gonna tell you guys about it. Bottom line, I'm gonna tell you guys about it because I wanna put you guys on to stuff that I genuinely like. I get so much PR and if I don't like it, I'll try it out and if I don't like it, it doesn't do anything for me. I'm not gonna tell y'all, yeah, go get this, like no. And even if it's a sponsorship, like there are so many sponsorships that I'm like, I don't want to do this or no, this doesn't make sense or whatever because I'm not about to promote something that I don't really find useful. I'm just not. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, rant over. I'm gonna start getting ready in a little bit so I will show you guys the makeup that I'm gonna do because I'm gonna go and get my hair done. I think I told you guys so many times but I'm just so excited because what are we doing here? Ah, what are we doing here? But I wanna do my makeup kinda like simple and light today because they be washing my bronzer off when I go get my makeup done. I mean, when I go get my hair done with my makeup done. So I'm just gonna do like a really simple beat today. I wanna dress kinda cute just in case I'm done in time to be able to go to um, dinner. And then Leah has her like official cheer tryouts today. So I think today we might find out if she makes the team, but her friend's mom is gonna drop her off at home for And it's 70, like 76 or 77 degrees outside right now. So it's like our last hot day of the year. And I'm going to be stuck in the shop. Hopefully not all day. Let me put on some eye cream. That was a lot. I take eucalyptus showers at night where I just put eucalyptus oil in the shower with me. Like along with my eucalyptus leaves, I use 
eucalyptus essential oil and then in the morning I use lavender and then I put lavender oil all over my body not essential oil but I use the this one the Dr. Teal's and then I go on top with the Josie Moran buddy buddy body butter and I swear it just makes my skin so silky smooth like my I get so many compliments on how soft my skin is all the time and that is my tip I also exfoliate my skin my whole body at least twice a week you know what I keep saying like oh I should do a body care routine and just show you guys because my tips are very simple yet effective and I also had like really like dark stretch marks on my legs like on my upper thighs and I also have them on my butt but they're so much lighter now since I've started doing this routine and I've kept up with it for months now I mean I just recently like maybe two months ago started using this but everything else I've been doing for the longest time and yeah it faded my my stretch marks not that I care because I don't know some about stretch marks is just so sexy to me but they're lighter so if anyone is and I didn't know that I didn't do that for that reason I didn't know that doing that was gonna make my stretch marks fade but it did so yeah anyway um i want to put on some of this fenty ease drop lit it's the all over glow enhancer and it's i don't even know what shade am i bronze jasper the shade 04 blend with this it cosmetics dual sided or double ended foundation and concealer brush i think not i call myself Derma planning my face and I left this huge slab of hair. It's the NARS um, Soft Matte Complete Concealer and I'm in the shade Amand. And I'm just gonna pat this underneath my eyes. And I love this stuff, you guys. It's like creaseless and it's undetectable, which is a bonus. I'm just gonna cover any little blemish just blend everything together I'm gonna do a little bit of bronzing and I'm just using the Fenty match sticks in the shade truffle I kind of do like a contour bronze it's like a slight contour but I really bronze because what I like to do uh, this hair is killing me a large fluffy brush and this is just a real techniques brush like a powder brush and I just blend or sort of like blow it out and it gives a nice diffused bronzy look you just bring that into the hairline for my nose I'm gonna use this elf dual ended brush and sort of just blend it into my brow and into my crease I'm gonna use this hourglass concealer and just put a little bit in the inner corner and I'm gonna let that sit for a second let me do my brows and I'm just using the Huda Beauty brow pencil micro brow pencil micro brow pencil in the shade black brown a fluffy blending brush and I just sort of diffuse it a little bit it makes your brows look so much more natural when you do that and I'm just using keys soul care brow gel blend out my inner corner if you have more of a round face pulling it down helps to elongate Pulling your concealer down, your highlight, helps to elongate your face. I have a pretty like oval shaped face, so I don't really have to do this, but sometimes I like the alien head shape. Sometimes I like emphasizing my alien face or alien face shape. Set with this Charlotte Tilbury powder. If I don't do nothing else, I am going to break every single one of my like makeup powder products. So ghetto. Also, I feel like I should do a whole video telling you guys like products for the Sephora savings event because why not? And I got a ton of products, not a ton, but like the must haves. Do you guys want to see that? Do you guys want to know like what products I would recommend for someone who wants like a pretty everyday makeup look or just like a simple makeup look? Honestly, all the products that I'm using today. <laughs> 
all the products that I'm using today are perfect for that. I'm just using the Fenty Bronzer and Coco Naughty to add extra warmth to my face. I hate when I'm in a rush. Oh, I need to do better from using the one size powder. This one, I would recommend to, for anyone to get in the Sephora savings event. I have a few products that I'm going to get for the sale. If you're a Rouge member, it starts on the 27th. So tap in. Low key, I might do it over on TikTok just so I can hurry up and get it get it up. Um, like what I would recommend. And I'm just using the Fenty Brown Liner. I forgot what it's called. I think it's a shadow stick. I'm gonna have all the products linked down below, so don't worry. Don't worry, your pretty little head. What are we doing? Okay. Oh. I hate being in a rush, you guys. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. But it's my own fault, so yeah, there's that. Adding this brown to my outer part of my eye, I'm just so obsessed with the way that it looks. It just gives such a sultry, like pretty sultry look to my eyes. Why does my face look yellow? I swear it does not look like that in person. I want to use the YSL lip that I tried on yesterday because I just think it's so pretty. Okay, wait. That was the, <laughs> that was the wrong one. This is the one. So I think it like matches my natural lip color and I love, I love any like lip color that's close to my natural lip color. Yeah, I think I'm gonna bring this in my purse. And it's so moisturizing. It's like a it's like a balm. So I'm gonna put the Dior on top. I just want a little bit of shine. Need mascara, did not put mascara on. Here we go, the YSL mascara. I wish I had Leia's Lash Curler like when I put this mascara on because it's so bomb. I feel like you guys can't really see because my lashes are more straight. But this mascara is so good. Also, Leia said she's proud of me because I haven't worn any fake lashes in a long time. She's like, I'm proud of you. Sometimes with certain makeup looks, I'm like, oh, I wish I had my lashes done. But I really just want to let my lashes get more healthy. And then if I like go on vacation, like somewhere tropical or whatever, then I might get my lashes done again. I'm not saying that I'm done with lashes, but I just wanna see how long and healthy I can get my natural lashes. Cause I was getting lash extensions for way too long. And yeah, it was kind of ridiculous. Okay, I think, oh, we need blush. Mm -mm. I was wondering what was missing. I'm like, why does my face look like that? This is like a full beat honestly because i can never just be done yes and just bringing the blush up into your brow bone is just it's a moment that needs to be talked about more Oh yeah. Oh yeah. To dust the powder that I put underneath and sort of like mesh the blush together. And we are done. Let me get dressed really quick. I was gonna do a whole little thing showing y'all me picking up. Actually, come on, we can we can do it together. I think I already know what I'm wearing though, so I'm kinda in the mood for all black. So I have this black t-shirt. I just took off my hanger from Zara. And I got this a long time ago, but I just like the simple, like basic t-shirts. And so I'm like, I could put on this black t-shirt. I have this black tote bag that I'm in love with. It's like a faux leather. It's from H&M. &H I'll link it for anyone interested. I still have it available, but it's linked to my LTK, I think. So if you guys don't follow me on the LTK, you should, because I'm always linking so many different like affordable clothing items and stuff over there so i'll have a link down below but i'm thinking i can wear this and then i have these leggings that i also got from h&m 
the black still match but who cares so i just really want to be comfy and cute so let's try this on real quick and see what it's giving i'm thinking that i could put on these new balance that i recently bought so i like that they have the black and i just love the details so sunglasses lipstick i need my laptop and my laptop charger so i'm gonna grab that also i don't know if i showed you guys but my new laptop case it's so cute and it's from i got it from amazon it's by the brand tom talk it's a khaki laptop case and it has like a little pocket in the front super cute and the quality is really good it fits all my stuff which i need i'll link it in my amazon storefront under influencer must tabs or something like that for anyone interested i'm gonna bring my lights and i'm gonna bring this camera sony zv1 i'm gonna bring this i like bringing this camera with me whenever i go anywhere because it's so compact it's not super bulky so need that extra battery and i think that's it hair salon outfit of the day these black leggings are H&M. These are super comfortable and super flattering. I remember before H&M's leggings were trash, not gonna lie, but now they did a complete 360 or 180 with their leggings. The quality is much, much better than it was before and I like the fit better. So I'll link these down below. I think they were like 10 bucks. And then t-shirt is Zara. I just have it sort of like tied up in the back this um jacket is a skims zip up it's from the outdoor collection i'm just carrying my tote bag from h&m um, sunglasses are prada and my sneakers are new balance and this is the look i just have on some silver studs i'm not really wearing too much jewelry i have on my ring from amazon but yeah this is the look <laughs> and we're gonna go and get our hair done well i'm gonna go and get my hair done because it is much needed and i'm so excited so i'm gonna try to vlog as much as i possibly can but I will show you guys the end result nonetheless. So let's head out, y'all. Let's go. Yesterday, there was sun and there was rain. Beauty in the Monday. And as the back home. Nami looking like a grease ball. <laughs> We're gonna put some of this Fenty powder on just to show y'all just how good it works because I stand behind this, okay? If you are an oily girl like me, go get this. It's a game changer. Okay, I think I'm good. I'm gonna put something on my lips too because our hair is done. Um, I'm back feeling myself. Also, that YSL lip stuff, the bomb, it's the perfect pink shade. Yeah, you guys, we're back home from the hair salon. I didn't really vlog. Actually, I don't think I vlogged at all while I was there, but it is 10.30. I know it's like super late, but I'm starving. I haven't ate anything since breakfast. So I want to heat up some chili. I still have like a whole pot of chili left over and some cornbread. I'm gonna have a little bit cause I don't wanna overdo it, but I do need to eat. Actually, low key, I could just chop up some strawberries. Anyway, hair is done. I told you guys that I would show you. We just went with the middle part again and absolutely love it. It's so pretty, it's so bouncy. This is the same unit that I've been using for the last, I don't even know how many months. I can't remember when I got this unit, but it's been a while. I think the next time that I go, I'm probably gonna get a new unit made. I still have my very old unit, my first unit that I had. Um, that one is shorter. And then I have the blonde one or the one that has like the highlights in it. I have that one. <sighs> Something just fell and Milo was barking. It sounded like it could have been Leia's laptop. Um, I have my blonde unit and then i have this unit and i want to get another unit and i'm trying to decide if i want to get like really long maybe do like 28 inches i don't know i want like a big 
like big body wig and I want like deep layers. So we'll see. Anyway, um, Leah told me that I had a package from Fenty. I love my girls over at Fenty because they, y'all, they hook me up. They send me all the goods all the time. And I'm really excited to be on their PR because there is not a product from them. Wait, is this from Fenty? I think so. But there is not a product from them that I don't like. So every time they send me something, I'm always so excited because I know I'm about to be using it. Or at least I know that it's gonna be something that I've wanted. Let's get it open. All right, what is this? It says Ude Parfum. Stop, is this their perfume? Is this the Fenty perfume? Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? I feel like, like look at how it's packaged. I don't wanna open it yet. I wanna do a TikTok like during the day. So I think I'm gonna save it for tomorrow. So if you don't already, you should go follow me at, go follow me at I am Shelly on TikTok. I'm gonna try to unbox it or do like a cute little unboxing video over there. But I think that's what it is because it says Fenty Ude Perfume. And hold on. I gotta see if I can roll the clip back to where I was in the store and I was asking you guys if you've ever smelled the Fenty perfume because I was gonna buy it, but I didn't wanna buy it because they didn't have a sample out or a tester out for me to smell it. And they sent it to me. And I don't know if it's the big one or the small one, I don't really care, but it has the big one and the small one on here, so I'm pretty sure this is the perfume. I'm kind of emotional. It says, we know what it's like when you're out shopping for holiday presents and you keep sneaking things into the cart for yourself. This holiday season, we're thrilled to spoil you because you deserve it. The Fenty Ude Parfum holiday set is the ultimate self-indulgence, Rihanna's signature fragrance in the classic full size and the new purse perfect refillable, girl, can you talk? And the new purse perfect refillable travel spray. Powerful and sensual. Fenty Parfum is a scent that brings the bold. With that, we say happiest of holidays. XO, the Fenty fragrance team. Wow. <laughs> I just wanna say thank you to you guys for supporting me. And it may not be major to anyone else and I don't really care, but for me, this is, this is a big deal. I am being recognized by brands I love and have been buying from for years and just like for this, like, but it's, it's honestly, it's such a blessing to be recognized by brands that I love and support and have been purchasing from for years. For them to recognize me is like, wow. So I just wanna thank you guys for all of your love and support, you know, that you guys show me and for just allowing me a safe space to share my life with you and share my world with you guys. I don't know, it's like a wow moment. Every single time I'm like, wow, you guys show up for me every single time and the support does not go unnoticed. And I just want to, from the very bottom of my heart, say thank you. Honestly, thank you guys so much for just being so kind, for always you know, showing up in the best way and for always showing me so much love and leaving such positive comments and even being so kind to one another. I see your comments when you guys communicate with one another 
in such a gentle way and you guys are always so uplifting we have such a powerful community over here um, on youtube it's also over on tiktok it's also um, on instagram but the youtube community i hold very near and dear to my heart and i never would have thought like when i first started my channel i never would have thought that this is what my community would become and i'm honestly just so proud of it I'm so proud of it. It's so full of love. I'm so thankful for every single one of you, every single seashell, even the ones who aren't subscribed, <laughs> would you still show up anyway? I am so thankful for every single one of you. And I just, wow. So um, on that note, we are going to end this vlog because I transported all the footage over to my laptop today when I was at the um, hair salon I was actually I started editing the vlog and I'm like why is it three hours worth of footage and then I'm adding to it so this one is probably going to be a long one I hope you guys enjoy because it's been a minute since I've been on here I don't want to break the vlog up or anything I want to give you guys a long one so here you go I hope you guys enjoy do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you guys know we have a lot of content coming. So make sure that you're tapped in. We would love to have you here. Do not forget to say your prayers. I love you guys so much. And until next time, I'll see you on the next one. Mwah.